welcome everybody to the Mind, Body, Soul experience and the Om Yoga show. It is my absolute pleasure to be here today. Welcome to Alexandra Palace. My name, my name is Alexandra. I am the angel Alexandra and this palace is the earthly representative of the heavenly angelic kingdom right here on the earth and in this very very special and high vibration location that we find ourselves in today we are going to be opening the angelic kingdom the temple of heaven right here on the earth and it is my express wish as a world angel in earth service that we use this time together to create a bit of a microcosm of the macrocosm here in Alexandra Palace, we have a really powerful opportunity to spread love and peace to ourselves, to each other, to create heaven on earth, to really allow ourselves to live in this pleasure garden, but also to send that vibration out to everybody on our planet, to places like the Ukraine, to Iran, to the Middle East, to places where people might not be feeling so much love right now. We, we really want to create uh, an experience of love that is so vast and so beautiful and so big that it can be felt in the hearts of all people. And we really do have this power. We are divine beings having a human experience and that is what we wish to celebrate here today. So I just want to invite you all, if you will, to just close your eyes and just take a moment to come into your heart Take a deep breath in and breathe in light. Breathe in love. Breathe love from the universe all around us, from our beautiful sun, our source of light, and calling infinite love from divine source, our creator, source of all life, through the sun into your heart, opening a portal of love in your heart and calling up love from all of the crystals of the earth, that light, that frozen light in the crystals of the earth, from the very heart of Mother Earth. And as we do this, we open a huge column of divine diamond gold, heavenly light through our bodies, our being, and through this whole space, opening it out multidimensionally. And we create a huge golden canopy of light, love, protection over the whole space and around our whole earth may all be blessed now there is a beautiful sound that belongs only to you this is your soul signature it is a note a one note in some spiritual schools people call it the note of heaven or the gateway to the soul your own soul's note and if we tone through the heart chakra this note is the sound ah so I just want you to tune into your heart and if you would tone with me so we're going to use a little bit of sound just to open the show and uh, this sound ah, will open the gates of heaven through your heart really allow you to step beyond where you are now onto your highest heavenly timeline to call in miracles and magic and blessings for you but also for everybody that you know and love and even those that you don't know under one sun one soul one divine humanity so taking a deep breath in Find your note. And again, deep breath in. of your heart from divine to all now following on from the R sound there is actually a beautiful word which is a word of welcome it is a, a really a loving word a thank you for being here word and this word is Ave and the word Ave 
I'm going to use today because we're welcoming the goddess. The goddess is back in our midst. The god and the goddess are reunited. And this reunification of masculine and feminine is happening within each and every one of us. So it is the invitation today to really connect with the sacred union within yourself, to really honor the beloved within, birthing the holy child, remembering the holy child that you are, the innocence that is at the core of you. And the, um, you know, the, I, I really believe that each and every one of us is a spark of divine light made flesh. So really honoring you, yourself in this moment, bringing masculine and feminine together, the logic, the reason, with the intuition, the magic and the miracles and the mystery. And there's a beautiful song I'd like to sing. And this song is called Ave Maria.
with the Holy Father and to create the Holy Child. So, as an earth angel, or what I like to call a world angel, here in this human incarnation, one of my roles is actually to be what we would call a, an earth grid worker, which is kind of a light worker who goes to different sites on the planet, to different sacred sites, and actually works directly on the ley lines and the grid lines of the earth to clear any stuck energies in those places, to bless and reawaken the holy temples and pyramids. I've been to the pyramids of Giza, the pyramids of Mexico, Guatemala, I've been to Easter Island, and sometimes when I didn't even have any money in my bank account, the universe would gift me with a miracle and I would end up in the place that I'd been dreaming of for the previous months and being told, you're going here. Now, one of those places is a very sacred site to the goddess, and it is in the south of France. It is a place called Rennes le Chateau, and in that place was where Mary, Ma Mary Magdalene had her ministry in the caves of Rennes le Chateau. And if you go on pilgrimage there, the locals will tell you that you'll never find the caves, that you have to cross a river, you need climbing equipment, you've got to climb a mountain and do all of this stuff. But I was guided directly to the caves of Magdalene. I was actually guided by Magdalene and St. Bernadette. And while I was there, a beautiful chant was gifted to me. And staying with the theme of the Holy Child within and the Sacred Union, I would like to give this chant to you, and if you would join me, I'd like to do it as a call and repeat. And it goes like this. There is, there's no backing music, and I just, again, invite you to sing from the heart, because this is really about blessing yourself, blessing your own union within, really saying yes to living your hopes and your dreams, believing in miracles again. We've all been through such a tough time, and it is time for us all to remember who we really are that we are worthy and deserving of all the good that love and life has to bring us. So the chant goes like this. I'll call the first line and I would invite you to repeat. Oh, Holy Mother. Oh, Holy Mother. Oh, Holy Child. Return to the mother. Oh, holy child. Oh, holy father. Oh, holy child. Turn to the mother. Turn to the mother. Oh, holy child. Oh, holy child. Oh, holy children. Oh, holy child. Turn to the mother, children of the wild, oh, holy child, oh, holy child. Beautiful. Thank you for joining me. Please give yourselves a round of applause and give yourselves a hug. How deprived of hugs have we been in the last few years? I know I was. Big hugs from within. Lovely. So the, the, on, the, on the brochure it actually says that I'm going to be sharing a selection of poetry as well today. But I have been very, very blessed because I was going to recite the next piece as a poem but I have a beautiful friend by the name of Kat Paling, who is actually a singer-songwriter, and she's put some of my poems to music. So instead of saying the poem, I am going to be singing it here today. And this poem is one that was channeled, I always channel poetry, I just hear them from the divine and they flow through like water. And this poem is called The Children of the Garden. We are the children of the 
children of the heavenly kingdom. There is a, a beautiful invitation now. For you to think of the most beautiful places on our beloved earth that you have ever visited or dared to dream to visit. I want you to think of all the beauty that our beloved Mother Earth has gifted us with and everything that is provided for us here in this heavenly pleasure garden. And even though we all go through tough times, we all struggle, I know that uh, in the last couple of years there's been a lot of loss and a lot of grief. And I myself, just in this last year, I've lost quite a number of people from my life, some dear friends and family members as well. And even though we we need to honor our grief and we need to honor all of our emotions, our sadness, our sorrow, the depths, like the depths of the beautiful oceans on our planet. We must also honor that the heavenly kingdom, it resides within us all. And if you're ever in a time where you feel sad or you feel lost or alone, the imagination is a really powerful tool. Now as children, we're often told, oh, it's just your imagination, but actually, in my experience as an angelic channel, the imagination is actually the doorway to the divine. And if we don't use our imagination, then we block ourselves off from so many beautiful experiences. It, just closing your eyes and imagining being by the ocean will take you there and your body will actually believe that it is there. You will receive all of the positive healing. So if you can't get to a beautiful place in nature or a forest, you can actually go there in your mind. You are never trapped. And you'll hear people who've been in prison telling you the same thing when they've taken up meditation. They've felt freer than ever. So today I want to invite you just to close your eyes and really imagine the most beautiful parts of the earth 
And we're going to imagine our own fantasia, our own utopia. I want you to really bring that into this space here. And we're going to send it out like little bubbles of loving thought forms out to anyone who is living in poverty, anyone who is in war, anyone who is ill or struggling. Many people who are passing over, pass over away from their homes in palliative care and places like that. And that can be a very lonely, cold experience. So we want to send healing to those people. We want to ask that any souls passing receive this love and the beautiful memory of heaven. And we're going to keep that like a beautiful jewel in our own hearts so that if we ever feel lonely or cold or afraid, we can go to our inner utopia, our beautiful, safe, sacred space in our own hearts. And the next song I would like to sing is a beautiful song. It was sung by Sarah Brightman and it is called Nella Fantasia. And it really talks of the most stunning world that we could ever imagine.
So my next song is another poem. It's called The Alchemist. Thank you for coming. It's called The Alchemist and it is actually a prayer. This is my prayer for the earth. And again, it was channeled, but in the work that I do as an Archangel Alchemist, again, I find that something I really live by is embodying the divine in me every day. And that every, every step that we take, every thing that we do, every meal that we eat, every, every time we're angry or happy or sad, every time we're joyful, no matter what we're doing, we cannot escape our divinity. And so I really, in my intention on this earth, is to try to live as an angel in, in the world, to try to live as the saints lived, to make everything you do in honor of the Divine Beloved and in honor of Mother Earth. We must never forget that the earth nourishes us, that the Divine nourishes us. And we're only here for a short time, so you know, it really is the invitation to, to really live, really live from the heart, really let yourself pursue your dreams and your goals, really allow yourself to say yes, yes, to achieving everything you want to achieve every day of your life, and not to sweat the small stuff, not to be too hard on yourselves. So, we are all alchemists, and this is a prayer for you and for me and for all of us beautiful humans. And the music was by Kath Haling. Sacred Lord, 
one final song as a final blessing for you all. Thank you so much for joining me today. This has been magical. And I have to say, this is my first time performing on the stage. And I have, there's a beautiful woman here called Angelina Kalahari, who is my singing teacher. And I have her to thank for training my voice. Thank you, Bella. And I also want to say thank you to um, Angelina's friend Elizabeth who has done the accompaniment for this next song and also for Ave Maria for me.
open stage, actually running an Archangel Alchemy healing session. So if you'd like to come and experience some healing with the angels, and particularly the Archangels, please come. I've put some leaflets on the chair. There is also a beautiful retreat happening in Glastonbury on the 5th and 6th of November that I'm running with a dear friend of mine. Now lovely Chris here is going to be one of my keynote speakers. And um, you can find all the details there. And also, if you're in Birmingham uh, on the 28th to the 30th of October, I will also be speaking at the Mind, Body, Spirit event in Birmingham. So please do come and say hi, have a hug, get some angelic love, but go out into the world now and bless yourselves, bless your life, and thank you so much for joining me. I am just eternally grateful. I can see the divine in all of you. May you shine. Lots of love, lots of love. Thank you.